Kaluki here from Red Canoe Media. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about goals. This video is going to be in two parts. First, I'm going to show you how to set up a goal. Uh, and then in part two, I'm going to show you how to uh, find out a little bit of information about people that have actually achieved the goal that you have set. So in the very first part, uh, what we're going to do, this is the screen that you typically log into when you get into analytics. We're going to click on the admin button at the top. And then we're going to set up a goal uh, specifically for if somebody has set up an appointment with my company, okay? So in the third column over here on the right, we see something that says goals. And you'll see here that you can click the red button that says new goal. I'm going to go ahead and click down here because I'm gonna, I have one already set up, but I, I'm gonna show you the same screens, okay? So the first thing when you click new goal, it asks you what kind of thing do you want to track? Now in this case, we're actually going to click custom instead of choosing one of the pre-made templates. So we're gonna hit continue there. And then next it's going to ask, okay, well, what do you want to actually track? So what we want to track for somebody who has set an appointment on a site is we wanna track a specific destination. In this case, the thank you page. So the only way that anybody is going to see this page that I've created on the website called thank you for setting up your appointment is if they have set up an appointment. Other than that, that page is not its not part of any sort of visit that they're, they're going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is give it a name. I'm just, I'm just going to call it set appointment. So I know that uh, that is the goal that I want in place. I'm going to select destination, which is a specific URL on my website. And then I'm going to click continue. And then in part three, it's going to ask you, okay, what is that destination or what is that URL? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose equals to, because I want it to only track this exact URL. And then what we have to put here is just everything after your domain. So if your domain is uh, bluewidgets.com slash contact slash appointment dash set, then all you would put there is everything from the slash forward. So you wouldn't put the bluewidgets.com part in there, okay? If you want to set a value, like you know that every time somebody uh, sets an appointment that you're going to make a hundred bucks, then you can turn that on if you would like. And then secondly, there's a funnel option, which is totally optional, but this would be um, uh, if they uh, visited a specific page on your site, typically the contact page or the set up an appointment page, then you could actually put that in here and see where people are, are visiting uh, those pages. In this case, we really only have uh, one page and that's the set up an appointment page. So there's not a funnel uh, in this particular case. I'm gonna turn the value off for this particular client. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Now there is a verify this goal button, uh, which will tell you if you've already had your analytics running for a while, it will actually go back seven days and say this goal would have been achieved this many times uh, in the last seven days. So once that is set up, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on reporting here. And then over on the left uh, in analytics, uh, down on the bottom, there's something called conversions. And if you scroll down there, there's goals and then there's overview. So now what I can see is what kind of um, appointments have been set since I started since, since I started tracking this. So this is great. People have been setting appointments as I would hope they would. We can see that 29 goal completions have occurred during this particular time frame, which is uh, the last 30 days. So um, one other thing I'd like to show you is let's say that, uh, oh wow, there was uh, five appointments set yesterday. I sure would like to know what happened or where those people came from because that's kind of a, an anomaly as you can see here. So what you can do is you can go select that particular day. So I'm gonna mouse over that. And that is, uh, oops, let me try again here. Wednesday, August 24. So I'm just gonna click that day. And then I'm gonna only select that day for both fields up here. I'm gonna hit apply. So now I'm only getting data from that particular day. Okay, so now we can see that the appointment was set five times. Then what I can do is I can click right here where it says secondary dimension, okay? 
And then I can do uh, something like Okay, so once I select the date that I want, in this case, just that day, we can actually see the different times that the different goals were completed. But what I'm really interested in is two different things. First of all, I'm gonna click down here on source medium, and that's going to tell me where these people came from that filled out this goal. So two people are direct, means they typed in the actual domain and came to the website that way, they physically typed it in. One person came from Bing pay-per-click, one person came from Facebook ads, and one person came from Yahoo Organic. So that's terrific. That means that uh, all of my different platforms seem to be working. They're generating uh, traffic, so that's great. The other thing I can do is I can click over here on the left where it says reverse goal path, and I can kind of see the last couple steps that they took uh, before they completed that goal. So here on the left is the appointment set page, Prior to that, of course, they were on the Contact Us page filling out the form. Prior to that, they may have been somewhere else. So in this case, uh, this one says Contact, Contact all the way across. So these people came straight to the site, clicked on Contact, filled out the appointment, and contacted us. This person here went to the home page first, clicked Contact, and then a set an appointment. This person went to bringing the beach into the kitchen without letting in the heat. So that's a blog that we wrote. They actually visited the blog, clicked contact, set their appointment. And lastly, uh, somebody was actually looking at the decorating fabrics you know, in the product section. They started in, on the home page, went to the fa fabric page, clicked the contact, set an appointment. So you can kind of see the different ways that people took to get to your appointment. Now, if you set up your goals uh, just by watching this video, then you're not going to have that back data to go and do this. So what you need to do is let it run for 20, 30 days, uh, depending on how many people set appointments for you, things of that sort. But this is a great way to really dig down and see uh, on a specific date uh, what happened. Now, if I wanted to see the last 30 days, then I would just click up here on the date and I would just choose the last 30 days, hit apply. And now I'm going to get the same reverse goal path, but for all of the people that qualified in that particular time. So now we can start to see what pages were really uh, the most uh, profitable page, I guess you could say. So in this case, the, these people entered. They entered by the homepage. They clicked on contact and set an appointment. So, you know, you can see the different ways. Here's somebody who was went to the homepage, went to the employment page. So they were looking for a job of some sort. Uh, here's the blog, here's the contact page, here's somebody that was in a gallery looking at bay windows, and then they decided to set an appointment. So some pretty cool stuff that you can do uh, with the uh, analytics and seeing uh, what appointments were set and how those people found you in the first place.